Do you think that you are good at time management? Or have you ever caught yourself saying things like, oh my God, I'm terrible at time management. I am really bad at focusing. Why are other people so much more organised than me? Why could I never get everything done in my day or in my week? Well, I am here to let you into a little secret. You are not terrible at time management. And the reason I know that is because nobody is actually terrible at time management because we can't manage time. There are 60 minutes in every hour. There are 24 hours in every day. You cannot change that. You cannot manage it. So the whole ethos of time management is an absolute myth. It is a stick to beat yourself with. So stop it straight away. However, what you might want to think about is how good are you at managing the way you use time? Because that's the one thing that you can manage. You can manage you. You can't manage your time. You can manage what you choose to do with it. So the first thing, the biggest thing that you can do if you want to improve your perception of how good you are at time management is to really understand the fact that it's your responsibility, that you are constantly making a choice about what you do with your time. Now that choice might be to be distracted. The choice might be to get stuck on social media and scroll through there for the next 200 hours. The choice might be to ignore the things that are on your to-do list. Um, the choice might be to get your head stuck into something that's actually not that important, but you really enjoy, um, and it's gonna take you two hours when you thought it was gonna take you 10 minutes. But every single one of those things is a choice. So if you really want to improve your time management, then what you really need to understand is it's your responsibility. It is always your choice. But if you want to get better at how you manage your day, then here are a little sprinkling of things that will help you to organise and structure yourself perhaps a little bit better so that you become more organised, more focused and really feel better about the way that you are managing yourself and your day. So the first thing to bear in mind is you have to choose what works for you. There is no one size fits all answer to this. If you have tried a system that doesn't work, it just means that's not the right system for you. So keep changing your systems, keep adapting, keep playing with it till you really find what works for you. But also look at key things like distractions. So what are the things that most frequently distract you? Why are they happening? How can you eliminate those things in the future? You can actually create a strategy for every one of your most common distractions so that you already know in advance when this thing happens, when this thing crops up, this is what I'm going to do about it. And that might be uh, setting a deadline. It might involve setting an alarm. It might involve putting something into your diary instead instead of dealing with it right then. It might involve telling people you will call them back rather than doing something straight away. So there's lots of ways to deal with it. But the first thing you need to do is recognise what are my big distractions and then what is my approach to each one of those going to be in the future. Another thing to consider is getting realistic about how much you can actually achieve. Because what I so often see is people that tell me they're terrible at time management, but then they actually show me their to-do list and they've got at least three days work on today's to-do list. And yet they think they're terrible at time management, but what they're terrible at is planning their day. So they've planned three days worth of work and then when they don't get it done, they beat themselves up about being terrible at time management. What you really need to do is be realistic about how much you can get done in a day. Stop and check how long things genuinely take you. That complicated email that you think is going to take you 15 minutes will probably take you 45 minutes. That LinkedIn post that you think is going to take you 10 minutes might well take you 30 minutes. So when you know how long things take, then you can be more realistic about what you can get done in a day. And planning one day's work instead of three days work, and you'd be amazed how much your perception of your time management improves at that stage. Um, so two things in that is being realistic about how much you can get done in a day and genuinely understand how long things take for you. So really, all you need to think about to improve your time management is being realistic and understanding what works for you and how long things take you 
and then take responsibility for making proactive choices throughout your day, throughout your week. And you, before you know it, you will become a genius of productivity, organisation and focus. Now, if you think that seems like something that's still a million miles away from you, if you know that you would love to get a little bit more focused, but you're really struggling to achieve it, then get in touch with me. Let's book in a strategy session and I can help you to get super focused and super organised with what you do so that you can start to make real progress in your business. I'd love to help you do that.